So students, let us see one more problem on this distance formula. But uh, actually we need to involve some properties of the geometry, means plane geometry also to solve this. Please subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon for the more updates. First, let us read out the problem. So here, <coughs> find the equation of perpendicular bisector of AB where a and b are 3 6 and minus 3 4 okay the uh, i mean coordinate points of the uh, a and b are 3 6 and minus 3 4 also find its point of intersection with the x axis and uh, y axis so first of all we need to find out uh, a perpendicular bisector of the line uh, or to the given line segment joining these two points okay before starting this point let me recall the property of perpendicular bisector okay from the plane geometry what is that if you take uh, <coughs> see if you take one line segment which is let it be some a b and if you draw the perpendicular bisector to the given line segment like this do you know what is perpendicular bisector which perpendicularly bisect the given line segment that is called perpendicular bisector. So, this is equal to this and this is perpendicular. Okay. Now, this line is a perpendicular bisector. Let it be some PQ. Okay. Or else something. Okay. This is perpendicular bisector. Okay. Now, if you choose any point on this, let it be P. Some point you have chosen on the uh, perpendicular bisector. Okay. Then it will be equidistant to A and B b okay it's a standard property and theorem what is that okay perpendicular any every point on a perpendicular bisector to the given line are equidistant to extremes of the line segment extremes means what so this is end points of the line segment any point you choose here also you choose some point so here also these two points are also equidistant to these two end points understood here also if you choose any point okay this point uh, this point is equidistant to okay the end points of this line segment so extremes of uh, line segments are equidistant on the from the point on uh, perpendicular bisector understood so this is a standard property of the trigonom uh, sorry geometry from ninth standard you might have learned this okay this property is very much important what i said once again i'm repeating uh, any point on perpendicular bisector to the given line segment is equidistant from the end points of uh, given line segment okay any point on the perpendicular bisector of the given line segment is equidistant to okay equidistant to the end points or extremes of the given line segment understood Conversely, what can we say? <coughs> Conversely, what can we say? If you choose any point on the uh, perpendicular bisector, it would be equidistant to the end points. Now, conversely, I can say that in reverse. In reverse, I can say that, okay, uh, any point equidistant to end points of line segment will be, will lies on what? Okay, lies on what? Uh, perpendicular bisector. Understood? So, that means I am telling you just clear this concept without clarity in on this concept you can't solve it understood so just tell me here uh, i took this line segment ab and i choose some point p which is equidistant okay which is equidistant uh, to the end points a and b then it lies on the perpendicular bisector so conversely i am telling you that this based on this theorem we are going to do this problem understood or not what I said, any point which is equidistant to extremes or end points of any line segment that lies on, that point lies on perpendicular bisector of the given line segment. Got it? So, based on this, we are going to start this problem. Let us start it. Now, what is given? Uh, so, we have given A, B are two points. Okay, let us draw the, this with this color. A and b what is the point a here 3 6 coordinates of this and coordinates of this point uh, is minus 3 and 4 right we said some point we need to find out the equation of 
perpendicular bisector of this okay so what i said if you want to fi find out the perpendicular bisector of this i mean equation of the perpendicular bisector then what can you say here if you choose any point p which is p x y on this perpendicular bisector then okay this should be what equidistant to both extreme points or not so that's what what i said we if we choose if you consider okay if you consider any point which is equi equidistant to extremes okay that point lies on what perpendicular bisector as i said you before if you choose any point equidistant <coughs> from uh, extreme points of the line segment uh, that lies on what perpendicular bisector got it so now <coughs> based on that we'll try to find out the equation so as you said this point is equidistant from these two points as it lies on perpendicular bisector understood so now here we can say that pa equal to pb pa equal to pb what is pa uh, now just let me write down the vertices here uh, p is xy this is let okay i let uh, p uh, let p uh, p b x y and a is some 3 comma 6 and some b is minus 3 comma 4 all right so these are the three points we took and we said that p a equal to p b right okay anyways what is p a if you want to find out the p a distance between p and a you need to find and here x2 would be 3 and x1 would be x and y2 would be 6 and y1 would be y itself okay so let us find out uh, square root okay so here x2 minus x1 that would be your 3 minus x whole square plus 6 minus y whole square equal to now pb means distance between p and b while finding it xy would be uh, x, x1 and y1 and uh, minus 3 and 4 are x2 and y2 now find out this under square root pb would be what pb would be y2 uh, sorry x2 minus x1 minus 3 minus x whole square this is 4 minus y okay 4 minus y whole square simplify this uh, in order to simplify this you need to square it on both sides while squaring it square roots will be cancelled so write that uh, write the expressions on either side okay 3 minus x whole square plus 6 minus y whole square equal to minus 3 minus x c if you take minus in common okay minus of 3 minus 3 plus x will be uh, will we we'll get at the, that or not 3 plus x okay if you if you square it on uh, since there is a square we can take this mark we can convert this minus to plus so we can write this minus 3 minus x whole square as okay 3 plus x whole square okay now plus 4 minus y whole square got it now expand it now solve each and every individual bracket in order to solve them what we have to do here we have to do uh, we need to uh, identify whether uh, this is in which form each bracket term, bracket bracket expression is in which form see if you consider this 3 as a and this x as b this is in the form of a minus b whole square this is also in the form of a minus b whole square similarly on other side also so here a minus b whole square can be expanded into what a square minus 2ab plus b square okay so here a square would be what 3 square let us write it down 3 square minus 2ab minus 2 into 3 into x that would be minus 6x plus b square that would be your plus x square and here a square a square means what 6 square okay minus 2ab minus 2a is 2 into 6 into y that would be 12y plus this is y square is equal to what this is a plus b whole square okay if you consider 3 as a and x as b now a plus b whole square this is 3 square okay a square plus 2 a b means plus 2 into 3 into x that would be 6 x plus b square that would be x square 
Now, this is a minus b whole square. So, a square would be 4 square. Minus 2ab, minus 2 into 4 into y, that would be minus 8y. Plus b square, that would be your plus y square. Okay, here also we obtained some lengthy expression, but don't be panic. Here also some similar terms are there. Same terms with same signs are there. We can cancel. Here you can find here x square plus x square and here also plus x square do cancel. And now y square and y square are together are cancelled. Now, let us simplify it further. Okay, this is 3 square which is 9. Okay, minus 6x. Okay, this is 6 square which is 36 okay this is minus 12 y okay now put it here this is 3 square which is 9 again okay and here this is plus 6 x okay and uh, here uh, 4 square which is 16 okay and here minus 8 y okay right now uh, now this 9 can be cancelled on both sides or not cancel this again okay here my uh, now here minus 6x plus, th plus 36 minus 12y and here 6x minus 16 minus 8y so in order to solve this uh, bring all the terms to a side uh, then what happens uh, better do one thing uh, bring all these terms to this side okay 6x uh, plus 16 minus 8y now if you bring this 6x minus 6x to another side of the equation then sign will be converted to plus that would be plus 6x now this is plus 36 on going that side it will be minus 36 now minus 12y this will be converted to plus 12y equal to what 0 ok on this side the nothing is left over I mean I wrote this RHS as LHS ok we, uh, we brought all the ok uh, we all the uh, all the variables and constants to a side okay now simplify it further 6x and 6x that would be your 12x now minus 8y and plus 12y that would be your 4y okay now what is left over now here plus 16 and minus 36 that would be minus 20 okay if you carefully observe you can take common from all the all the terms of the equation take common okay 4 okay this is 3x when you took common 4 here 3 will be left left and x when you took common 4 here only y will be left over and here when took common 4 from here this is 5 okay so if you if you bring this 4 to another side it will be by 4 okay no issue so here the equation would be what Okay, what is the equation? 3x plus y minus 5 equal to 0. So, 3x plus y minus 5 equal to 0. So, actually what I said you, this P is a point on the perpendicular bisector. Okay, we choose the P, choose the P as a point on perpendicular bisector of AB. Okay, so P is xy. And we took, uh, this is equidistant from uh, end points of the line segment which are A and B okay as per the given theorem of 9th standard from plane geometry okay so now we obtained this equation this equation represents what perpendicular bisector okay so this is what uh, perpendicular bisector equation this is perpendicular bisector this equation is what perpendicular bisectors equation so we obtained perpendicular bisectors equation so I'm uh, my suggestion is to you that whenever you are asked to find uh, uh, to find out the perpendicular bisectors equation of the line joining any two coordinate points then what you have to do you need to choose p x y some x y point which is equidistant from those two okay and uh, uh, put down the uh, I mean uh, write down P A equal to P B okay and after simplifying what the equation you will obtain okay will be the perpendicular bisector understood so this is the equation of perpendicular bisector so just you need to take uh, 
we need to consider x y as a as some point which is equidistant from a and b okay and uh, while solving uh, while taking pa equal to pb okay on solving it you get one line equation that line equation represents this perpendicular bisector got it or not so for first part it is solved okay we obtained our required answer as a first part now what is your second part now we need to find out and that line okay find the point of intersection see here we need to find out the line equation now first perpendicular bisector we we find now and that perpendicular bisector will cut x axis and y axis see uh, let me draw you separate diagram for this so this is a line equation we got or not okay we obtained this line equation now this line equation will uh, cut x and y axis or not will intersect x and y axis as it has x term and y term and uh, constant term also okay it will cut x axis and y axis so they are asking that uh, point of intersection with this line uh, with x axis and y axis also that means this line will intersect uh, x axis and this line will intersect at y axis so this is this line only okay this line will intersect x and y axis somewhere what are that points now how to find it out so for this you need you need to have the basic of coordinate points what is that basic so this line will definitely intersect x axis okay the point of intersection will be the common point of uh, on this line and common point on this x axis understood or not this point will be common point for x line and x axis also so this point li lies on x axis the point lies on x axis uh, will be in the form of what some x comma 0 or not because on the x axis y co coordinate would be 0 understood on the x axis y coordinate would be 0 so put y equal to 0 in this equation and you get a point on x axis which will be the point of intersection with this line understood if you consider i am telling for example this is 3x plus y minus 5 equal to 0 if this is an equation of this line okay this line will cut the x axis then point of intersection of this uh, this line with the x axis lies on x axis when it lies on x axis its y coordinate would be 0 then put y equal to 0 ok put y equal to 0 in the equation in the equation so what do you get uh, 3x plus 0 then what do you get equal uh, sorry minus 5 equal to 0 so that would be 3x minus 5 equal to 0 ok so now uh, 3x equal to what uh, taking this minus 5 to that side it will be plus x equal to what 5 upon 3 or not so here the uh, distance means x intercept would be 5 by 3 I mean distance on this x axis would be 5 by 3 so what would be the point okay point of intersection so here we, we can write that point of intersection with the x axis sorry or with x axis we can write with x axis would be what this is 5 by 3 what would be this point tell me here this is 5 by 3 that means 5 by 3 is x coordinate and y coordinate would be obviously 0 as we put it so what is that in the point of intersection with the x axis 5 by 3 comma 0 now tell me if you want to find out point of intersection with the y axis then what we have to do we need to put x equal to 0 or not so here since this point lies on point of intersection lies on okay y axis its x coordinate would be 0 then put x equal to 0 in the given equation so x equal to 0 then what do you get 3 into 0 plus y minus 5 equal to 0 so this would be 0 so y minus 5 equal to 0 so y equal to what 5 so what now uh, what is meant by this this length this line is cutting or intersecting x uh, y axis at uh, 5 units distance from the origin 
Okay, so what should be the coordinate point of this? 0, 5. Got it? So, point of intersection of this line. So, let me write here. Point of intersection. Intersection. With. Y axis. Would be what? 0, 5. Understood? Like this we have to do. And say this guys, I am I'm, uh, I'm telling you once again that you need to have the awareness on plane geometry to solve the coordinate geometry because you need to know all the triangle properties. You need to know all the triangle properties, quadrilateral properties okay, and uh, properties of circles to solve the coordinate geometry. Okay, So, uh, uh, based on the applications of the uh, plane geometry only we can solve coordinate geometry problems understood so it's a very important one we have done this based on plane geometric application got it or not like this we need to solve okay anyways uh, so we can do this one. we can finish this problem very fast but uh, it will take uh, some time and uh, uh, on with a long practice you can get it okay you need a long practice to get uh, the speed improve your speed understood anyways Subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon for the more updates.